Hello, my beautiful Aquarius, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of September the 8th up until September the 15th. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. Without Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right, my beautiful Aquarius, how have you guys been? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start calibrating to your energies. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages and guidance. Oh, look at that, let's see what this is. Oh my, somebody's stressed out maybe, can't sleep at night, Aquarius. Hopefully this is not you, and if it is, we're gonna figure out why and what's going on here. But there's one person here experiencing some inner turmoil. But you know what? I'm picking up on the energy that um, it's not as serious as you think it might be. Ooh, let's see, let's find out why, okay? Let's see, thank you so much for that. Okay, any guidance for my Aquarius this week? Let's see what we have for you this week, Aquarius. Now, please remember that energies are fluid. So if I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember that this can also be for your sun, moon rising or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. Okay, and energies can indeed be reversed. So if you feel like you need to reverse the energies, feel free to do so, okay? And a lot of times friends come through the reading, okay? So if this is not love related, it could be career related, any of your coworkers, you know, family members, whatever. But let's see what we have starting for you this week. Aquarius, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, oh my, okay, so fast forward movement energy. Now I am picking up on the energy where there might have been either an exchange a verbal, like a verbal exchange, okay, or this could just be inner turmoil. Like I said, a lot of mental conflict, okay? It's sort of like, I'm picking up on the energy it's coming through right now. Somebody wants to give up on something because you are just sick and tired of whatever it is that you've been dealing with and you just don't know what to do at this point, whether this is you or them, okay? I'm picking up on this energy where there's like this inner turmoil. It's like this, it's like this time bomb. It's it's ticking, it's ticking, it's it's like in the last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, right? And it's like before this happens, something here has to clear out. Okay, there's there's like there's like um communication is what I'm picking up on. Somebody here needs to communicate, okay? Some kind of opening up. Yeah, so I am sensing here that you will be coming into stability, okay? So I do sense that perhaps some of you guys have recently gone through some kind of a breakthrough moment, all right? And yeah, this is causing, uh, again, see? This is causing you or this person a little bit of sleepless nights, anxiety, okay, you're not sure which way to go, you're not sure what to do, and I feel like your person is feeling very regretful right now. So again, if there has been an exchange, a verbal exchange, some kind of, um, you know, back and forth where uh, perhaps it just ended in miscommunication, I feel like your person is feeling a little regretful right now, okay? Now, for others of you, wow, this person's not gonna give up on you, okay? So there's fast forward moving energy. This is a person who's very hard to pin down, okay? I'm picking up on the energy where you guys are dealing with somebody who has been a catalyst for change, okay? So now I'm picking up on the energy where Aquarius, you have been stuck in this situation that you are ready to come out of, which I am so happy to see because you're coming into stability. You're coming into fast forward moving energy, okay? I'm picking up on this energy where there's this part of you, it's like right now, I'm picking up on this bipolar kind of energy, not exactly like, you know, 
the whole sense of, you know, that, that personality type, but in the sense where a part of you wants to keep trying for this connection because you feel the connection, but then there's this other part of you that snaps you out of it. And you're like, you know what? To hell with this. Okay. I'm worth more. I want to expand my horizons. I'm worth, you know, it's like, you don't want to keep waiting. I'm sensing on this energy of restlessness. You're just sort of like, you're ready to rebel against this person, against the world. You know, there's like this rebelliousness energy kicking in where, you know, I'm picking up on the energy where you haven't shown it yet. It's just inside your mind. It's inside your, it, it's just being, it's just being, uh, brought up in, in the sense of, um, it's, I'm trying to translate the energies here. It, it's sort of like uh, you haven't expressed this yet. Okay. It's still there. It's like that time bomb that I'm talking about, right? It's like, it's, it's ticking. It's ticking the time. The clock is just in this movie. It's like the last 10 seconds, right? The last 10 seconds of this. Wow. But guess what, my dears, this is all going to end up in your favor here with the 10 of pentacles whatever it is that you have been needing to say it is time to say it it is time to verbalize all of this turmoil all of these emotions that have been boiling within you okay whether this is you or this person whoever it is okay take it as it resonates there's one person here who is about to explode but guess what this is all going to cause a beautiful brand new breakthrough because i feel like whoever has been holding back emotionally has been nurturing the past and this whole like time bomb energy it's just going to purge all of that past energy okay all of these regrets all everything that has been needed to be said okay is going to it's like you're gonna experience this rude awakening or you're going to deliver this rude awakening to this person and guess what a beautiful union is on the horizon i am so happy to see this and look at this i mean really you have universal help at play. You have here the energies of the universe, of God, of source energy at your back, okay? Taking care of you, taking care of this connection, moving things forward. So everything that's going on right now, don't worry. Be easy on yourself. I'm picking up on this energy where, you know, I'm. there's like this part of you that's very humble, okay? You're trying to be compassionate. You're trying to be patient with the process, whatever it is that you're dealing with whether it's work related, whether it's love related, but you're trying to be very, very patient with the process. Okay. I'm sensing here that, you know, you're, you don't want to fight. Okay. It's like, there's this part of you where you're like, okay, I know exactly what's going on in this person's mind. I know exactly what this person is up to. I know exactly what they've been doing, but you know, it's like, you're just trying to be patient, but then there's this other part of you and that's the conflict in your mind. Okay. If this is you, there's this other part of you that's just bold. Okay. Because you are natural very bold, very expansive. Okay. You're very confident. You are ready to take risks. Okay. You are very, um, you just want to expand. Okay. You want, you want your life to expand. You know where to go. You know what state, excuse me, what steps to take to move forward. But it's like, you're kind of stalling a little bit for this person or for this situation. Does that make sense? Now let's go ahead and jump into your clarifiers because I'm loving this already. Let's see. What is this knight of swords? here. What is this knight of swords? What is going on here? Yeah. So, oh my God, your person has a lot of love for you. And I feel like it's a mutual thing. Okay. Both of you guys have a lot of love for each other. And look at this, the Empress. I mean, you are just standing here in your power. Okay. Just very, very edgy, unbreakable, unrestrained, unrestricted, very, very bold, unstoppable energy. And you know what? This is going to be the week of a breakthrough if you choose that, okay? Because I sense here that all of these fears that have been taking over of not being able to communicate your emotions clearly, okay? That's what's been holding this entire situation back, okay? It's sort of like that energy where, well, I don't want to expose myself. I don't want to put my heart on the line. I don't want to be vulnerable, okay? And this is exactly what this person wants you to be. They want you to be vulnerable, okay? They want, and you know what? It's sort of like, it's so interesting because people think that vulnerability is, uh, is weak. Weakness. And did you know, Aquarius, that vulnerability is boldness? This is how this person's going to see you. You kind of think that whether this is you or them, remember, I'm not sure if I'm talking to Aquarius or to their, to their person, but whoever is afraid of showing vulnerability, I'm sorry, but you have got it 
the opposite way around, okay? It's it's more like, okay, once you tap into your power, once you tap into your strength, okay, they are going to be shocked because guess what? The majority of people are trying to hide their emotions, especially the majority of people that this person is used to dealing with, okay? So this person wants you to show that side of you. They want you to open your heart. They want to know what's inside your heart, okay? Because this person has love for you, but unfortunately, I will say this, it's not your fault, Aquarius, because this person has internal issues as well, okay? I do sense here that your person has, I'm picking up on a power struggle. There's a sense of a power struggle. They want to be in control. They want to be in charge of not only their own emotions, but of you. And this person feels like, see, so now I'm picking up on the energy where, yes, Thank you. I'm understanding why you have been holding back, Aquarius. Aquarius, you've been holding back because you know that this person has these control issues that they are dealing with, okay? And you don't want to be controlled by anybody, right? Um, but you know what? I do sense here that by you expressing your true emotions, your true self, that's just being truthful to yourself, my dears, okay? It's sort of like you're owning up to your own desires. It's you owning up to your own shadows. Does that make sense? It's Aquarius going for the real happiness in their lives, right? And that's the only way, Aquarius, that you will get the answer that you have been seeking for because I feel here that, you know what? With these energies, there has not been clear communication. The communication has been foggy. This communication here has been very vague, okay? It's very vague communication. You know, sure, I do feel like you guys are communicating on a very superficial level, kind of like very friendly, just very just okay, you know, hello. And that has been working for the past weeks. I feel like um that has actually brought this person to open up with you a little bit more, but this week is something completely different. The time bomb is about to explode. Okay, I mean that's it. The t it's it's done. This waiting period is over. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some clarifiers, some further clarifiers. I want to know. My God, you have just look at this. I mean, really, you have abundance coming in for you in your near future. Okay, you have abundance here. You have this is a relationship. This is a committed relationship or whatever a, a job that you have been seeking for. Okay. This connection is unbreakable. You guys both want it, not just you. This is mutual. This is mutual love. This is mutual reciprocity. And guess what? The universal forces have this whole situation under control. You know what you're going to feel, Aquarius? I'm picking up on this energy where, Aquarius, you have been a little bit fearful that your fears, so-called fears, are real, okay? And let me tell you, they are not real, okay? They are not real. This week, I feel I'm picking up on this energy where the universe is going to have you feel the situation to the core, okay? Something's going to happen where you are either going to get all of your buttons pushed, all of them, every single trigger button will be pushed on your, uh, like at the soul level, right? And it's either going to make you react. So this is a fight or flight situation, whether I'm talking to you or them, but this is going to work out in your favor. The universe is trying to feel it. And they're like, okay, all right. Is this really what you want Aquarius? Okay. Let me have you feel it again. And then another button is pushed, right? And so then they trigger you. It's like, trigger, 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 right? So it's like the universal forces are having you really look at this situation thoroughly, very, very in detail. Okay. Let's see. Is this really what you want Aquarius? Do you really want this now? Do you still want this? Are you sure? Do you want this? Okay. Feel it again. Feel it again. Right? So it's sort of like that. I'm telling you like that ticking time bomb, right? It's like, okay, are you going to explode now? Are you, are you still going to wait? Right? So it's this very interesting energy here. Okay. That um, it's like very changeable, but then it's like, it's very, it's very powerful, right? So there's like that, there's like that boldness within you, Aquarius, you know, and you want something new. You want to control your thoughts. You want to take, you know, just hold on to your emotions. You don't want to release your emotions, but then something happens where you're just like, F this, you know, like to hell with this entire thing. I'm just going to like, let this go. And then something just pulls you back in. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Some of you guys might be dealing with a twin flame connection. Okay. But let's go ahead and see what this nine of swords is. What is this nine of swords for 
Aquarius this week. Yeah, again, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay, so look, this is what I'm picking up on, okay? The reason why you have been feeling so uneasy, okay, is because this needs a push, my dears, okay? You need to give this situation a push. Whatever it is that you've been fearing to do, whatever it is that you fear like it's going to backfire, it's not. This is what's gonna bring this brand new beginning. Some of you guys might be dealing with an Aries, others of you with an Earth sign. I see fire signs, I see air signs, all of the signs here, water signs, okay, all of the signs are showing up here. But the reason why you have not been able to reach some sort of a compromise with this person is because you're afraid to jump in fully. And that is exactly what will be presented to you this week. Remember, the universe has its hand at play, but all for the better, okay? So remember, your fears are unfounded. They are not real. The universe is going to push your buttons this week. And it's, again, it's gonna make you react. Okay, do you, do you really want this? Aquarius? Is this really what you want? Okay, let's see. Let's have you feel it. Okay, do you feel it? Do you feel it now? Okay, let's let's have you feel it again. Okay, so it's like again and again. So this is just sort of like coming to terms with the fact that do you really want this Aquarius? Do you really want this committed connection? Do you really want this job? Do you really want this freedom? Whatever it is that your desires are, okay? It is here for you, but this is the week where you either have to communicate act upon it or do something. This is going to require action from your part, okay? Wow, absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading because guess what? This entire situation is a catalyst for the change that Aquarius has been wanting. This is a catalyst, either the person, the situation, the career, whatever. It is a catalyst for the change, for the abundance, for the commitment, for the manifestations that you have been trying to hold back on. You know, I feel like whether it's you or them, there's one person who's been trying to hold back, hold back, hold back, okay? And your person wants you to just go for it, just show emotion, okay? Whether this person, I understand, I understand that they have control issues, but guess what? At the end of the day, this is only going to work in your favor, okay? Because this person's going to, it's like you are going to present this side of you that they, have been wanting to see that they have not seen. It's the only way that this person can change. Does that make sense? And it's like, because you are afraid that this person is going to start, you know, getting control of the situation or whatever it is, you know, whatever their, their consistent, um, uh, I'm picking up on the energy where they kind of, um, they kind of play this like emotional judo with you. Okay. Is what I'm sensing. It's like, this is, this is like emotional judo here. Okay. It's like they, they mess with your mind, but Aquarius, the reason why they keep messing with your emotions, even though they have love for you, I know it sounds so contradictory. It sounds horrible, right? But it's really not, you know, the energies that are coming through is that this person, because they are in love with you, okay, they feel like they have to protect themselves. And so do you realize that whenever you're dealing with a person who is not at ease, this person is not at ease because they love you. They are at ease when they don't love anybody. Does that make sense? Because they feel free. They feel unbothered, right? Unrestrained. But because they have love for you in their heart, they are acting out. Does that make sense? They are acting out of character. And so this acting out of character is taking over your energy. So what you can do, Aquarius, is actually do that which you fear, which is communicating uh, your emotions, your truth, whatever it is, you know, being forth with this person. This is what this person needs. This is what this person subconsciously has been asking from you or you from them. Remember, if these energies are reversed, just try to reverse the energies, okay? But let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week. What do my guides and angels have for Aquarius this week? Very interesting uh, dynamics uh, of energies going on here with your person or the situation. See, all is well. Oh my God, you have divine forces here at play, okay? 
Look at this, this beautiful, gorgeous angel is sort of just like alchemizing this entire situation here with the universal forces at play. You are going to get what you want, but not until after you face whatever it is that you have been afraid of doing, okay? All is well, Aquarius, angel Jeremiel. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. See, these blessings here, I mean, I cannot make this up. They, they've been hidden, right? Somebody is hiding their potential. Somebody is hiding their, whatever it is, whether it's a career that, you know, a career change, maybe moving moving out of the place that you've been wanting to move out of and right now you're just kind of like afraid or whatever. Whatever it is that you want, whether it's this person, a partnership, whatever it is, there are hidden blessings and not until you start communicating, okay, very clearly or acting upon uh, your true desires, okay? Owning up to your true shadows, owning up to what you truly desire and going for the real happiness that you know you want to have and that you know you can have and that you know you deserve in this lifetime. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get one more guidance message for Aquarius. Oh, that one, ooh, two flipped out. Okay, let's grab two of them, okay? Go for it, oh my God, you guys, are you, are you guys seeing this? What did I just tell you? Go for it, Aquarius, look at this. Go for it. I mean, I literally cannot make this up. Two white horses, okay, just going for it. I, okay, like, you. that's it, Aquarius. Like, literally, go for it, okay? Look at this. I mean, I literally cannot make this up, you guys. This is absolutely amazing. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it when these synchronicities happen. Yet another synchronicity in here, innocence, okay? I do sense here, let's go for it. go for it, okay? Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. See, subconsciously, you want to go for it, but somebody here needs to stop holding back, okay? So your prayers and positive of expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on the situation. Look at this. The universal forces have this, are taking care of this basically, okay? We've been working with you on this since its genesis and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very, very far indeed absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay. So anything that you desire, go for it, Aquarius. The energies are present this week. All right. But I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.